we've included the Flower Garden Bank's focus in our aquarium renovations because it's uh, a very unique component to the Gulf of Mexico uh, just off of our shoreline here. Uh, we also have a long established relationship with the Flower Garden Bank's National Marine Sanctuary. The Flower Garden Bank's National Marine Sanctuary protects the coral reef systems that exist in the Gulf uh, and provides a, a, a public showcase for this unique ecosystem. The Flower Garden Bank's ecosystem is a very unique ecosystem. It's found about 115 miles off the Texas coastline. It's the northernmost coral reef system in the United States, uh, and it, it has about the, the healthiest reef system that you're gonna find in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Basin. They're the healthiest reef system because they're so far removed from all of the man-made pollutants and other impacts that are uh, naturally affecting some of the coral reef systems that are closer to shore. Coral reefs worldwide are facing a lot of pressures uh, between ocean acidification and global climate change and uh, man-made pollutants uh, entering the ecosystem. Uh, corals are really in trouble. Uh, it's been estimated that up to 70% of the corals within the Gulf of Mexico are in trouble. Being an aquarium that really focuses a lot on the tropical ecosystem, corals play an important role in all of those uh, habitats. And so uh, inclusion of corals within our Caribbean exhibitry as well as our South Pacific exhibitry and even our North Pacific exhibitry uh, was something that we felt was very important. We've tried to replicate the coral uh, diversity that you would see on the Flower Garden Banks reef system. The one challenge we had is that the reefs out there are very large and wide open with large boulder corals and we have a much more restricted exhibit to try to portray that. In most aquariums we use artificial corals because it's much more ecologically sound. We don't have to replicate the high intensity lighting that you would need to keep live corals alive. Uh, you also are not taking from the wild to stock your aquarium. Uh, with the advances in artificial theming we can replicate what's found in nature. So our approach in renovating the aquarium was to include an immersive feel. And one way we can do that is to include touch tanks where guests can actually get up and cross that, that air-water border and, and go beneath the water and touch the unique animals that live within that ecosystem. In our Caribbean touch tank, we're actually going to have a lot of invertebrates, which are commonly found within touch tanks. We'll have pencil urchins and uh, sea stars and hermit crabs and some of the other invertebrates. Um, that you would be able to get right up and, and touch. 